Today we have with us Mr. Tapan Kumar Jha, CEO at ASD Cybersecurity and consultant, amidst us for sharing his knowledge on dark web, deep web, and surface web. Mr. Jha is the CEO at Strengths in Experience Trainer in Ethical Hacking, Red Hat, JavaScript, HTML. He's also Cisco certified. He's an author of four books. He's, he has also delivered more than 300 workshops, conducted 150 seminars, 30 plus online training in cybersecurity. He's working for more than 15 plus companies as a freelance, as a penetration tester, and blue team leader. He holds a BTEC in mechanical engineering from Rajasthan Technical University, Kota. MBA from Suresh Gyan Bihar University. Diploma, diploma in Cyber Law from Asian School of Cyber Law. Sir, now I request you to take over the session. Thank you so much for the nice introduction. Thank you. Yeah, I will share my screen so that the student will be able to see my screen. Uh, wait a second. Students, you can turn on the camera, then it will be easier for me to communicate with you, if it is possible. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. We can. So in the today's session, like uh, first of all, I will talk about you know dark web. What is dark web? I think you have already gone through about the dark web, and you know you have heard many things about dark web that it is uh, it is not legal to go on a dark web. And there will be a uh, difference between dark web and a, and a big deep web. So basically, in this particular one hour session, I'm going to tell you about brief. Uh, I will give you a brief introduction about dark web and deep web and surface web. People are very much confused about understanding like uh, is the dark web is a part of a deep web or deep web is a part of a dark web. They interchange both both the things. So today I will clear all your confusion as well as not only the theoretical part but practical is an important part uh, like which I used to cover in each and every lecture of my cyber security. So basically in the dark web I'm going to tell you how to access this dark web, what are the areas are, which, which are present in the dark web and uh, what all browsers that we can use in accessing the dark web. We will also access some of the area which is not allowed to access. Okay, so that by seeing that you understand what all areas which is very much secure to access and uh, why generally people are using a dark web. Why security researchers are using a dark web? Why we see that dark web uh, provides uh, you know confidential information, which information that cannot be accessed by anyone. So I will talk to you about all these things and today we will do the practical part. I will also give you the reference, you know, link so that you can also browse that particular web, web pages. And like understanding a dark web is an important part because when you are into the cybersecurity, company asks you that uh, might be possible some information related to the company. It can be a bank, it can be the company. So might be possible hacker hacked some database from of your company and put it on a dark web. Now, if you want to see that information where it is stored on the dark web, so you should know where uh, where you can search for this, how to access the dark web, what all search engines are there. Like in the Google, we cannot uh, you know search for the dark web links. We have a different search engine for the dark web to access uh, to access the dark web you know content. So I will also tell you about that search engine that uh, you can use in the dark web and with the help of that you can search anything whatever whatever which is present in, on the dark web you can easily access all those information you can easily search for that information so first first of all let's understand about what is dark web what is deep web and how these all are different with each other so like this side tapan kumar cha i am a cyber security expert working in the cyber security field for the last 13 years and uh, i'm also a ceo certified ethical hacker and i am a ceh advisory board member at ec council usa so uh, I also request you to please. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. And I also request you to, if you have any questions, so feel free to ask me anything. Okay. Just because, like, uh, if it will be a two-way communication, then it will be much easier for me to, you know, communicate, deliver my things properly. If it will be a one-way session, I keep on talking, I keep on talking, and you will not ask anything. Then I do. I think uh, I'm, I think that it will be uh, it will be a boring sort of a seminar, and I do not want that your session will get bored. And if you have any concern, because I know many of you have heard about a dark web and a deep web. 
So if you have any question related to this, you can ask me easily. No issues about that. And uh, if you do not have any information about Dr. Panadipa, I will explain you. And if you have anything, if you have any confusion, stop me in between the session also. You can just write down in the chat box and I will answer you. Uh, I will answer all your questions. Okay. You guys, are you ready? I need a message in the chat box. Yes or no? Yes, yes sir. sir. You can you can uh, you know turn on your mic also and uh, say yes or no. That will be more interactive. I need everyone to type yes in the chat box. Very good. Yes, I'm. I'm seeing all the chats. I just, I just need everyone to type yes in the chat box so that I can start the session. Perfect. So let's start the session. So first of all, let's understand about uh, like three different surfaces are there on the internet. One is surface web, another one is the dark web, and third one is the deep web. So let us understand about what is the basic difference between a dark web and a deep web. So first of all, I will uh, read out this. The dark web, uh, the deep web is uh, defined as an internal section that is not indexed by a, by a web crawler. I think you know about web crawler. Uh, there are multiple web crawlers are there, which used to visit on a website, see the robot.txt file is there on our, on our website. I'll just give you an example so that you understand it more clearly. So what crawler will do, it will go on your website. Let's suppose on a people.com colon slash robots.txt okay it will search for this particular directory and it will see how many directories are allowed so here you can see it is for the apple bot yeah here you can see it is for the apple bot it is for the Baidu spider it is for the big bot so these are the scholar which basically look uh, look into your website and see how many pages are uh, there which is present within your website and they will list out all those pages on the internet so basically, like when we are using a dark uh, deep web, so in deep web you will not find you will not find any web crawler will uh, like web crawler will not be able to index any of the web pages which is present on a deep web. The, uh, the, deep, the dark web on the other hand is defined as a sub sub segment of a deep web that can be accessed only with a special tool. So it means what happened like a dark web is a big network, okay, and in the dark uh, like dark uh, deep web is a big network, and within that a small segment is there which is called as a dark. Web. In deep web, we have a small segment as a, as a dark web, okay. And with with the dark web, if you want to access a dark web, so in order to do that, you have to use a special tool. With the help of that, only you are able to access a dark web. It means that deep web links can be accessed easily by using a normal browser. And to access a dark web, you need a special tool. Here, uh, you know, you can see one image is there. So dark web, the uh, surface web, dark web, and deep web. So here you can see. Uh, surface web is basically like Google, Facebook, website, Wikipedia, e-commerce, YouTube, and blogs. So all these comes under surface web that can be accessed by anyone. No restriction is there. You can access it by using any browser. Just below, just uh, just below the water here, here you can see deep web is there. So in deep web, these information is not easily accessible by anyone. And to access these information, you need to create an account. So the so the website which requires which requires to create an account to, in order to access the information that comes that comes under deep web and some important information are written, uh, are present in the deep web like net banking is there for that we basically you need information research papers are there that cannot be accessed by anyone for that you need to you know search for the uh, search inside the deep web medical records are there hidden wikis are there private network and net private forum so deep web is not dangerous. On deep web, you will get a filtered information by just because on a surface web, anybody can put any information. If you want to put any fake information, you can put that uh, thing on the uh, surface web because there is no control. But on a deep web, basically, we have more secure zone. Everybody cannot access this deep web. Okay. And like people should know about the link where, uh, like which link is there, where this information is present. So, and deep web, uh, the content which is present on the deep web is more filtered than a surface web. In the below, in the below part of it, here you can see dark web is there. So dark web is more, more sort of like on dark web. We generally use, uh, we generally use the dark web to do some kind of a, you know illegal activities. You know cyber criminals are using this dark web in order to 
do some you know transaction in order to access some silk road anonymous to you know, to make yourself as an anonymous to you know do some illegal transaction so that it cannot be traced by any uh, in any legal agencies then by using some specific tool only you can use a dark web you can access a dark web which is tor tor, tor is a very famous tool so uh, internet you can easily download the tor browser and after that you can access you can create one chain proxy by using a chain proxy you can access any information which is present on the dark web remember one thing it make your system anonymous nobody can see like which uh, which user is coming on this particular website and even you cannot also identify like uh, the the hosting provider is coming from which particular which country so like both the people cannot uh, can uh, do not uh, you know uh, identify the original identity of the user who is trying to access and who is trying to host the website so this is the best advantage of a dark web but dark web is basically used by the cyber criminal or by the government agencies so let's understand more about the dark web and a deep web so let first of all let's understand about dark web so uh, dark web is a sub section of a deep web so deep web is a big section and out of deep web we have a small section called as a uh, dark web which includes sites that can be on only accessed through a purpose built web browser so if you have a web browser like tor then only you are able to access the links which is which is present on a dark web and the dark web link are dot on your link you can see it and you know the some estimated marks the extent of the dark web as being much smaller than that of a surface web so obviously like surface web can be accessed easily okay and dark web is you know much smaller but having you know uh, some information which is present on a dark web is uh, much prominent these things can be used by the criminals okay very few regular users will in, uh, will ever interact with the dark web because like it is not common uh, like the links on the dark web which is present on the dark web cannot be accessed by a normal browser so the normal user cannot see uh, cannot uh, regularly visit that particular website in order to use to access those links you have to use a tor browser a tor browser uses chain proxy in order to use this particular tor browser you need a high internet connection with the mobile internet might be possible you cannot use that links because it takes uh, it takes uh, a high bandwidth okay while the deep web usually requ uh, requires just a user and a password to access to uh, to be accessed think of your email inbox so if you want to access any information which is present on a deep web so in order to access that information you need a user and a password like your email id like without email id email id and a password you cannot access your email, uh, email account so this is comes under deep web where the information is stored and to access that information you need a username and a password and the dark web cannot be reached without uh, without the right software or hardware so and for accessing a dark web you need a software without that software if you try to open that url in your normal browser in either in a chrome or in a firefox you cannot do that then uh, dark web was ori uh, originally a domain exclusively used by a cyber criminal or government so this is uh, this is basically a domain exclusive because in a dark web we can only access dot onion website so if there will be a dot onion website you can use it by using a uh, tor browser and it can be used by a cyber criminal so the criminal those who want to do some transaction illegal transaction or, or the criminals those who want to you know buy some illegal drugs so they use this particular dark web even the government used to store this in, uh, store their information on a dark web so that anybody any any user cannot find that information if they do not have a right path if they do not do not have a right link so the government also stores their confidential information on a dark web so it means it is not you know it is not that much you know what i can see that it is not uh, that much harmful to access a dark web anybody can access a dark web but the main thing is that you should know where you should go and what thing you should see okay this would be this would uh, give the, uh, give them insight into yet known vulnerabilities and allowing them to gain knowledge of exploits before they can turn into a widespread cyber threat uh, cyber threat so even the uh, cyber security organization can also like also access a dark web because there are multiple forums are there where you can see uh, multiple exploits are present okay on the exploits which is not widely used which is not known to the external market which is not known on the surface web is present on the dark web so if uh, we are from the cyber security organization so we do not, we wanted to know like this exploit is available or not for this version for this particular protocol version some exploits are available or not so in order to find out the exploits we can also search for the dark web where the information are is stored so it is very much useful for the uh, security expert for the cyber security organization to find out the exploits on a dark web 
and uh, you can easily find out some good uh, good exploits on the dark web which is not easily accessed by anyone now uh, in order to understand about dfap uh, it is much similar to the dfap but dfap is much wider as well as you know uh, for this particular uh, for accessing a dfap you 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 just need you just need to uh, have the right link as well as username and password unlike the dark web which is deliberately abused by the by the layer of technology the dfap exists just below the surface web so uh, it just exists below the surface web uh, surface web and uh, you know uh, accessing a dark web you need a special software you you need a lot of restriction some illegal things are also you know happening over there but dfap is very much safe to access the majority of our dfap uh, consists of our regular websites that uh, regularly that requires user to create an account before they can access so wherever uh, wherever you will find to uh, if you want to access any information you have to create an account so that those websites comes under dfap because dfap information cannot be accessed directly if you want to access dfap information you have to create your account now it doesn't matter that you need to verify your account you need to put your genuine email but you can use a fake email and just create your account and you can access the information some people use the term dark web and a deep web interchangeably however significant portion of the deep web are completely legal and safe to use so it means dark deep web is uh, you know safe to use by anyone because the information which is stored is more filtered on that on the surface web you can find anything any fake information you can easily find out on the surface web but on a deep web this is more filtered you know some uh, restrictions are uh, uh, already implemented on a deep web so if you are accessing the deep web it is much safer and it's legal to access the deep web other than this the majority of a web cons consists of a uh, database in an intranet the format includes privately uh, privately protected file collection that one cannot access without the correct credentials so if you uh, like there are multiple databases are uh, present over there like if the bank sites got hacked so these information is present on a deep web so if anybody wants to access that information he can go he can go and create an account and with that particular he can access that information the member only part of the public uh, public platform are also a part of the deep web so like the the web pages which allowed which allowed only a member only like if you are the member of that particular page then only you can access you can also uh, these op these option can also come in the blog spot mm -hmm. so where you put where you put your blog spot on the anonymous mode and only the member those who have the right permission can only read that particular forum so that is also comes under a deep web the, the content is generally more secure clean than that of the uh, surface web so here you can see because the people are not frequently accessing this particular area and to access this information you need an account a verification must be there so that's why we can see that it is more secure and clean from the surface web some example of the deep web, deep web uh, content include financial data so financial data can be a good one okay like in financial data can be present on the deep web even social uh, social data, security database can be present on a deep web email inboxes is uh, also a part of a deep web even social media like facebook instagram because directly you cannot access the internal pages of the facebook and instagram so these part uh, these websites are also come under the deep web so a simple understanding those websites which requires to which requires authentication which requires accounts uh, which requires a uh, user account so that you can access that information which that comes under the deep web even medical documentation legal file and blog spots so all these comes under a deep web so in order to access now we will go with the practical parts so that you understand it more clearly i think it is very much clear about surface web dark web and deep web if you have any question till now feel free to ask me what is deep web dark web and surface web Please let me know if you have any question. Otherwise, we will go with the practical demonstration of. In the chat box, if you if you do not have any issues, please type uh, please type no. If you have any questions, please write it, write down your questions. Okay. What about others? If you have any question, please write your question. And if you do not have any question, please write no in the. Yes. Okay, sir. So what happen if we click any suspicious link on a dark web? Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Kesha, for asking your question. So the Kesha question is, uh, sir, what happen? Uh, what will happen if we click on any suspicious link on a dark dark web? So uh, remember one thing: like when you are trying to click on any other dark web link, so what information that it can extract from your browser? So from the browser itself, it can extract only a limited number of information, like your IP address, if it is a malicious link. 
so it can only extract your uh, ip address it can only extract uh, you know the browser related information a basic information which browser you are using what is a user agent but it will not uh, you know uh, affect your machine because if you uh, if they want to uh, if, if they want to you know affect your uh, affect your machine so they have to download some software and if you will down if when by clicking on some suspicious link if some file get downloaded in your system do not click on that system okay till that time it is safe to use it just click on that particular link if you are able to access that link then okay if you are not able to access that link uh, then also it's okay. okay any more questions please guys write it write down in the chat box so that it will be much easier for me to you know clear all your doubts and if you do not have uh, questions please type no in the chat box and i request the student if you they can turn on their cameras they are comfortable dear students please turn on your webcam and interact with your speaker please server to database server are used to database server are used to host dark web so basically on a database server it, uh, it can be a general database server okay uh, i hope it will be a my uh, mysql server only yes it will be a it will be a mysql server because you know we are we are only uh, using the dot onion dot onion domains but the application are built on a asp.net the application are built on a php database that we are using on to host us to host any particular website is a uh, mysql uh, mysql server you can use ms sql server you can use based on a requirement you can use it okay kishor okay sir yes i will just give you the uh, practical demonstration so that you understand like how this website like look, looks like uh, you can also even you can also find out of bugs in the you know dot onion web dark web website because those uh, those websites are built on php platform or is dot net platform as we generally host our website in a normal uh, on a surface web both things are similar okay so in order to access the dark web you need to use a tor browser so we just download the tor browser it is easily accessible you can easily just type download tor click on the first one here you can see download the download for windows when you click on it it automatically downloads that particular file so there is no rocket rocket science in using the tor browser like pe people say like using a proxy chain proxy takes longer time and all that it won't, it won't be like that after downloading this particular software just install it it is already installed in my system so i have cancelled it so just directly click on it and install it in your system and after installing you will directly uh after installing this you will you will get this interface here you can see some of the links i have already opened so that i will just show it to you so that you understand it more clearly uh on the on the right hand side you can see a new identity is there are you able to see this let me magnify the screen so that you can see it more clearly yeah are you able to see this new identity yes or no yes sir perfect so uh, new tor circuit for this website or new entity so when you click on a new entity it will automatically change the ip address uh, of your system uh, the tor browser uses a chain proxy where it set up a multi where, where it it's connects your system uh, to with multiple proxy server and with the help of that it used to communicate uh, like your system will be able to communicate the target message and if multiple proxy systems are uh, sitting between you and the target machine so the target machine cannot identify like this traffic is coming from which uh, which ip address and even you can also you cannot you can also you will not be able to identify that it is uh, you know what is the actual ip address of that particular server so both the things are anonymous even like i have also like after installing this what you can do i have added some link so here you can see a chat rooms are there so dark web chat rooms are there where you know black hat hackers are used to you know exchange their information tries to you know if you want to clear all your doubts related to the black hat hacking so you can ask your questions over here so i have just uh, you know uh, attached one link over there it's a dot on your link that can be only accessed when you are using it by using a tor browser 
I'll just give an example. Yes. So here you can see when you try to access this particular URL by using your personal browser, it can be a Firefox, Chrome, you know, Internet Explorer, Safari, whatever it is, it will not allow you to access because this dot onion. Are you able to see this? Yes or no? Dot onion. Yes, sir. So this particular dot onion uh, link can be accessed through Tor browser. Tor browser will create a uh, circuit with this particular uh, server, and then only they are able to access the website. So when I uh, hit enter, so here you can see this is the Tor browser website. So sorry, Dark Web website. It's a chat. So are you able to see this chat.php? Yes, sir. Okay, so it means the dark web website is built on a PHP or some like uh, they use the same programming language that we are using in a normal on a surface web. Okay, so like if you are using share the link. Yes, sorry. Can you please share the link? Yeah. Okay. You want this link? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, I will just share it. You can also access it, but for this you need to use a Tor browser. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Use this link. Okay, so with this, basically, you are able to. Right now, my session is expired, uh, and my uh, my name on the dark web is an anonymous Baba. Okay, this is a fancy name. <laughs> okay, so just cl click on back to the login page. Let me go back and try to log in again. So here you can see, this is a denial chat. It's a black uh, it's a black hat hacker chat box where uh, you can anonymously chat with the people those who are present in the chat room. Okay. So you can just type any nickname. Let's suppose. Now you have to solve this captcha. Now to start with the S, small s, where you will uh, where you will see the round circle. It will start with that particular character. C M T B. Click on enter. Yes. So here you can see, right now we are inside the chat room, waiting room. So here you can see the tips are over here and uh, even want to see some information. So like, here you can see within the 10 seconds, it will re uh, refresh this page so that we will get access inside the chat rooms. So within every 10 seconds, it will refresh the page. And if I'm able to access inside the, you know, uh, I'm able to access inside the chat room, I'm able to communicate with the anonymous hackers. Now wait for a few minutes. Will take longer time, I think so. They won't allow Baba to enter inside the chat room. Don't worry. Let it be. We will uh, we will check it later. Okay, because in every time it will get it will refresh itself. No, take longer time. No issues. Till the time we will see the another link. Okay, so here you can see. I think you know about CIA, Central In Intelligence Agency. So if you want to access the inter uh, Central Intelligence Agency website, you can use this URL. Even their website are hosted on the dark web and uh, if you want to join this agency you can join it uh, join it by using this particular link so when i enter this here you can see it's a cia index.html so it's a normal programming language that we are using here you can see Here you can see a student programs. So in this way, you can also apply for it. I'll be higher and working with CIA. So basically, this is the uh, CIA Dark Web website because they know that uh, the person who is having good knowledge will reach on this particular website automatically. 
and if there will be a normal normal person they cannot access this particular website okay then after this this is the cia website let's check is it still loading okay now uh, like there are uh, there are various website which also offer some you know chemicals you know you have heard about silk route so these sites are there but i request you do not visit this website more frequently because this uh, on this particular website people can you know purchase those software which is not allowed uh, which cannot be easily accessed by anyone so here you can see the link of it i will also put the link in the chat box for the cia website so that you can also see it by using your browser another link for the cia and after this here you can see it's a website which particular offer various you know medical related uh, products which cannot be easily accessible by anyone it can it will also offer you know some uh, software malware so you can also see this as a black market here you can see this is the be the north so when, when you type that particular uh, url uh, when you type that url in that um, in this browser in the tor browser it will take some time and it will ask you to create your account and if you will if you create your account then uh, you will be able to access this website so here you can see multiple information are present over here so credit card details we have to yes please ask yeah please ask. do we have to link our wallet with it no no do not need to uh, attach your wallet because it uh, it accept a payment in the btc bitcoins yeah that's what i am asking that uh, we have to link our crypto wallet yes if you want if you want to purchase then only to access the okay. website to see the web to see the content you do not need anything just need a user and a password and you can easily create just fake, put a fake information over there so here you can see frauds are there Yeah, got it, Now this particular captcha is so much tricky. Let me solve this captcha once. It takes longer time to solve the captcha which is present on the dark web. Ninety nine, sir. Sorry. No, try ninety nine. Okay, ninety nine. Yes. Got it. Like here, you just need to provide your username and a password. So my username is. You can also register it like this if you are not able to set the username. No, no more email confirmation. Nothing you require. You just need an username and a password. That's it. So you can also create a fake account, and then after that you can. So all the credit card informations. So these particular information you can easily get it by using this. This is this is called black market of uh, dark web. Okay. Here you can see it is basically uh, important to uh, you know know about all these things because when you are into the cyber crime investigation, so you have to search for these type of product on the internet. You have to find out the products. Okay, so that's why it is very much important to at least understand about these like where where you will find these information. Okay, 
do not bring anything but understand this okay so in this way you can easily access the market which is presented on a dark web after that here you can see it is also important to understand like the facebook uh, if you want to use a facebook so facebook can also be accessed by using a dot onion you know website so a facebook uh, can be accessed to the dark web a uh, link is given here copy this link okay. i just put this Yes, it is it's still active. Uh, I David, are you able to hear my voice properly? Yes, sir. Perfect. Sir, can we do attacks on dark web onion? Yeah, like onion links? Yes, yes, yes. You can also attack their website because what happened? Like usually when we work with the you know investigation agencies, so might be possible there are some website which is uh, uh, like which host some in confidential information related to the Indian government. So after identifying that information, we used to hack that website and then after that we have to delete that information. Okay. So then after that we have to put an attack. Like there is no difference between a normal website and a dark web website. The main difference is they are hosted on a dark web and they uh, in order to access that information, you, you, you need to use a Tor browser. That's it. The attacks that you can implement on the web application, the same you can implement on a dark web website also. Even the dark web website are more uh, insecure even uh, they are more vulnerable with the attacks got it yes sir got it sir perfect so like here you can see the facebook link so this is the facebook page of a dot onion so through here also you can access uh, like through the dark web also you can access the facebook so facebook page is available in the dark web so um, if you want to log in you can also log in and uh, your ip address cannot be revealed in such condition because you are accessing the facebook by using a dark web Okay, so these information are also available. Even some other information like this is very much important. Like I have given you some of the information. I have directly given you the link of that particular website. So it means after ending the session, if you want to search for anything, you will directly go on the internet, maybe on the Google to search for that information, but you will not be able to find out. So if you want to search for a specific content, which is present on the dark web, in order to access that, you can use a dark web search engine which is basically used to find out any information which is present on a dark web. If you want to search for any tool, if you want to search for any PDF, if you want to search for anything, if you, want, if you are looking for any database or maybe some hacked information, so you can use this particular search engine. How many of you want to know, uh, want to get this particular URL? Put yes in the chat box. How many of you wanted to get, the, get this URL? Uh, put it in the chat box, yes. Kesha, very good. Arsh, very good. Rani, very good. Only four people are there. Those who want to access this information. Okay, no issues. What I will do, I will share it in the chat box. Okay. Let's use this one. This is a search engine of a dark web where you can search anything. If you are if you are working for investigation agency and if you are working for any type uh, organization, because uh, like in the industry, you can see. Now these days, if you are working for, as a cyber security expert for any company, so every company wanted to know if any information related to, related to their company is available on a dark web or not. So by using this search engine, you can easily search it and you can easily give, uh, give it to them that uh, no information is available on the dark web. So this search engine is very much helpful. So I will just give you a demonstration so that, so that you understand it. So you, here you can see this is the dark web search, in, uh, search engine. So let's suppose if you want to search for any information like bank details. So here you can see all the information which you are easily, which you are getting contains an extension as dot onion. Are you able to see this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So all these are the dot onion pages so in this way like when you when you try to type uh, this particular search of uh, this type of a query in the normal google uh, browser okay then you will not find the dot onion links but here in the search search engine you can easily find out this uh, these information 
let's open any of them now out of all some of them are working some of them are not working also but it's so much unpredictable they want a premium service even if you want to search for any other information i will provide you the you know reference link so that you can easily search for that information because like whatever links that we are using on a uh, in the today's uh, like maybe it will it will get expired in after two or three days because this information as a uh, you know it's not like if you have registered one link so you have to maintain it for a longer period of time so these links are uh, you know pro provides those information which is illegal so the even the provider do not want that this this information will be live for a longer period of a time so that's why when you search for any information might be possible some uh, uh, some uh, particular links are live and some information are not live it will take some time to reload it so here you can see some reference links are there are you able to see these links so these links are very much useful in finding the dark web links this put into the chat box Note down these links. Copy down these links. These are very useful links. This can be, uh, you know, accessible by using your normal browser also. Got it. So these are the links uh, which is which is uh, which is used as a as a reference to access any dark web information. So just a quick quick overview of the dark web and a deep web and a service web because like dark web is very much safe. So deep web is very much safe to access it. The information which is present on a deep web is much filtered, much clean as compared to service web. Service web is a like open internet like website. You can easily find out in the uh, Google dot com. Facebook, Google, you know, Wikipedia, then uh, yeah, e-commerce or YouTube or blog. So all these type of websites comes under a service web that can be accessed by using any software. And uh, to access this information, you do not require any username and password. For some, definitely you require username and password, but uh, out of most, most of them do not require username and password. Like YouTube, you can easily access, you can easily watch the videos. You do not require username and password. But to create an account, if you want to store something, you want to create your own channel, then in that condition you need a you um, you, you need a uh, basically account okay so uh, it means that comes under a surface web and uh, uh, those links which cannot be which you cannot easily find out in the you know google search uh, search engine and for the for those uh, for those basically information you need a user or a password you need to create an account that comes under deep web and dark web is a you know illegal part of the internet where you know illegal things are hosted over there so criminals, you can use it, to, uh, you know, government, uh, government can use it to store their confidential information because a very limited people are trying to access that information. So this is all about, you know, dark web, deep web and surface web. And I think to the practical itself, you are able to understand how to access a dark web and how to find out some information which is present on the dark web. The links that I've already provided uh, to you in the reference, you can use those links to, you know, understand it more clearly because that links contain the various links of a dark web. Any questions in the dark web, feel free to ask your questions. Any questions, guys? No, sir. No, sir. Thank you.
so this is all about dark web and a deep web okay and uh, this is all about surface web also so i think you have you have got the good understanding with the practical exposure how this dark web uh, you know work and how to use it to our browser so this is all about from my side over to you ma'am yes sir Sir, uh, dear students and professors, okay, session was very informative and useful for our students and faculty members. Professors have also got benefited with the session. The topic, deep web, uh, dark web, and surface web. So I now we reached uh, the end of the session. So students, please, if you have any query, please feel free to ask. Uh, really, the session was very interesting and informative, and we all got knowledge on this dark web and the uh, deep web and surface web. And here, with I sincerely extend a uh, thanks to you on behalf of our students and professors of the department BCA, AML, and Cybersecurity, Saint Dean to be University, and BTEC uh, students and professors of BTEC uh, AML and Cybersecurity, Saint Dean to be University. I also take this opportunity to extend sincere thanks to uh, the heads of BCA AIML and Cybersecurity, then Dean to View University, and BTEC AIML and Cybersecurity. Students, herewith I'm sharing you the Google form link. Please submit before you leave the session. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Have a great evening, sir, and happy weekend, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir.